Hello, I'm Rajita, a cloud support engineer here at the AWS office in Bangalore, India. Today, I'm going to show you what you can do if your upload fails when trying to upload a large file to Amazon S3 with an encryption key that's using the AWS KMS key. Let's get started. If you want to upload objects larger than 5 gigabytes, the objects must be uploaded in parts. The AWS CLI, SDK, and AWS Management Console can automate some of this for you and break up the object into individual parts. When all the parts are uploaded successfully, all these uploaded parts must be assembled to complete the multi-part upload operation. Because the uploaded parts are server-side encrypted using a KMS key, each part must be decrypted before they can be assembled. This is the reason why the requester needs KMS decrypt permissions for S3 multipart upload API request using the server-side encryption with KMS or SSE KMS. Now, let's walk through how the KMS encrypt and decrypt permissions affect uploading objects to Amazon S3. I have already logged in to the AWS Management Console. I'm going to use an IAM user named Test in this demonstration. Let's review what the KMS key policy looks like for this IAM user by visiting the KMS dashboard. I'll navigate to the KMS dashboard and go to Customer Managed Keys. From my KMS key that's associated with my S3 bucket to which I'm uploading the objects, in the key policy, search for the statement where the Amazon resource name of your IAM user is listed as an AWS principal. I used IAM user test for this purpose. Check the list of actions allowed by this statement associated with your IAM user or role. It looks like the IAM user has necessary KMS generate data key permissions, which are sufficient if you are uploading objects that are smaller than 8 megabytes. As of now, the IAM user doesn't have KMS decrypt for multipart uploads to work. The identity based permissions associated with this IAM user includes S3 full access. We can review the IAM permissions from the IAM dashboard, users, test, permissions. You can restrict these permissions based on your use case. I'm going to use the AWS CLI to upload objects to my S3 bucket Amazon test bug. I have configured a profile for my IAM user test with the access key and secret access key. To use the AWS CLI and configure profile for IAM users, refer to the documentation linked to this video. I have two files, small file.txt and large file.txt, which are 672 kilobytes and 100 megabytes respectively. We can further confirm size of the files by using ls-lh. I'll first upload the small file.txt to my S3 bucket. Let's list the S3 bucket to confirm that. Now, let's follow the same process to upload the large file.txt, which is 100 megabytes. That I am user performing the upload doesn't have the necessary KMS decrypt permissions. Amazon S3 fails to decrypt and read data from the encrypted file parts before it completes the multi-part upload. Now I'm back in the AWS Management Console. We can verify the reason for access denied exception from CloudTrail as well. Let's go to Amazon CloudTrail Console, Event History, I will filter the events by username equal to test. We see multiple generate data key calls which are used to encrypt the objects that are uploaded to S3. We can see many KMS decrypt API calls as well. We can see the access denied exception associated with the decrypt API action. Let's view the entire CloudTrail event. 
from the event we see the principal is our IM user test and the invoked by field is AWS internal. This information appears when an AWS service is performing an API call on behalf of the IM user. In our case, S3 is the AWS service performing the decrypt API call to KMS endpoint KMS.AmazonAWS.com on behalf of the IM user. Because the IM user does not have the required KMS decrypt permissions, this fails. So, let's fix the permissions of the IM user. Going back to the KMS console, customer manage keys and the key policy and edit the key permissions. I'll now add KMS decrypt permissions to my IM user. Let's retry it uploading the large file. I am back to the AWS CLI. Since the session timed out, I am logging back in. Now let's retry uploading the large file. When you run the command, you can see the status of the upload. After the upload successfully completes with the necessary permissions, to further confirm, I will list the objects of my S3 bucket. Now, I am back on the IAM console. If your IAM user and the KMS key belong to the same AWS account, then using KMS decrypt permissions on the key policy is good enough. But if your IAM user or role belongs to a different account than the key, then you must have permissions to use KMS decrypt on both the key policy and your IAM permissions. You can review the identity-based permissions associated to the IAM user or role from the IAM dashboard. I will go to the users and go to my user test. An example IAM identity-based policy for cross-account looks like this. The policy has the necessary KMS permissions with the resource section that specifies the cross-account KMS key on. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.